What's up everyone? This video is going to be talking about the new Blackstar Live Logic MIDI controller. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it's made a huge difference to my guitar recording setup. It's a really great piece of kit. So I'm just going to go over what it is, uh, how, you, how you can use it, and how I've incorporated it into my guitar setup, and why I definitely recommend that you get one. So yeah, here's what it is. So the Live Logic from Blackstar is a completely customizable six button MIDI controller. It's designed like a guitar pedal. You can use it on the floor with ease. So if you're recording guitar or piano and you want hands-free MIDI control, then you can use this to pretty much do anything that you'd want to do, from recording to triggering tracks, to turning on and off effects, or mapping it to a looper. You can do all that with this piece of kit. It can be powered by USB bus, nine volt DC, or battery. So you can use it USB straight to your computer, or you can use the MIDI in out. And it's designed so you can completely customize it to whatever you want to use it for, which has been great for me. It's also got the option to add two expression pedals, which is a fantastic addition. So the buttons themselves are really easy to trigger with your feet. They're nicely distanced, so you're not going to accidentally trod on two. Uh, they've got lights as well, so if you're trying to use a pedal with them, which I have been, uh, then you can know when the pedal is activated and when it isn't. And historically, I personally do a lot with Ableton's Looper, uh, which is a one button trigger. And the way I've been doing that at the moment, because I've not really got anything to use, is previously I've just tried to like get the mouse hovered over the right place and then stuck some blue tack on the mouse and then use my foot on the mouse button, which is really not an ideal way of doing it. So this has made a lot more possible for me. So not only can I record with the Looper without having to stop the session, I can also use effects and play different sounds bring drums in, bring drums out, uh, all with this. So it's got a custom software which you can use to uh, program it however you like, and I'm just gonna go over that now. So this is what the software looks like as soon as you load it up. If I hit the power button on the back of the controller, then the computer has registered that the device is connected. So this is where you can completely control what the controller does. For each button, you have these different types of MIDI settings. So in this one, I've clicked on the first pedal button, which represents the one here. Um, and I can change this from PC, uh, CC, which controls any parameter, and then you've got Note, uh, which is the same as sort of a keynote on a MIDI uh, keyboard, uh, and then you've got Clock, which is used to synchronize all tap tempo BPMs to be the same. And then, or alternatively, you can click None if, you, if you're scared of hitting, say, the two when you hit the one, then you can just make this completely inactive. So, with this, it's really great as you have the option to have these different profiles, so then you can name what is going to be going into the expression pedal inputs name what the switch is going to be, so that could be the looper, then the chorus pedal, uh, and then it could be, this could be to play drums, to stop drums, whatever it is you want it to be. You can rename it, you can save it, uh, and then you can open different profiles. So then if I click on this and I wanted to change it to note, then I just do that, uh, and then I press send values, and I get this little message here that says that the values have been sent, so now this will be a note, uh, and then when I use it in my DAW, then it'll instantly transfer over so I can have this open alongside Ableton which is what I'm using and then I can change whatever the setting is and I can change each pedal to match whatever the live set is and save it, even add these extra details and then I'm good to go. So the software is really intuitive and easy to use and it allows you to completely tailor it to what you want to do. So my setup that we use now I'm going to have four buttons used. The first two I've got set onto note and I've got them both set onto momentary. So these actually um, pick a note on the keyboard the same as a mini keyboard would. Uh, so bear that in mind before you use notes, it may potentially clash with something else you're doing. And as I say, the operation set to momentary. With the looper pedal, I don't want to have an on off function. I want it to be able to, it's in Ableton, it's one, one tap for start, two taps for stop, and there's one and hold for clear. So I want to be able to do all that. So momentary works really well. And three and four, I've got on pedals, so on these I've got on CC um, and on toggle. So toggle means that I can turn it on and off and then when I turn it on there'll be a light on here. So if I do this, it turns on uh, three and then it turns on four. So they've both got lights on to indicate that they're on and the delay and reverb are now both on. So that's why I'm using those setups. And then you've got functionality here to control which CC number it is. Uh, the off value, the on value, uh, and so on. And the MIDI channel if you're using MIDI inputs. So this is my current Ableton Live setup. I've got my guitar effects I'm not going to do anything with at the start of the chain. I've then got two loopers, a filter delay, and a heavy reverb. So what I can do in Ableton, uh, it's dead easy, is if I hit MIDI, then I can, I can click what I want to control with the MIDI pedals. First two buttons at the moment are set to note. So I press that, which is the main controller. Hit that button. 
again. So those two are now controlled by the uh, pedal, and then I want this to turn on and off, so button three, and here button four. So now when I turn the delay on, I get a light to show that it's on, and it switches on that. Same again for the reverb. So now I'm good to go. Now because the loop pedal's got multifunctionality, I can press start to go. I can stop it, I'll play it again, and they control the other pedal as well. And I can stop that, and delete it, stop that one, and delete it as well. So with the loop pedal name, it's got a few functions, so one tap, one tap play, two tap stop, and then tap and hold will be delete. So I can do all that. And then I can now use my effects while I'm recording as well. But on top of this, I could queue up a record uh, in the main channel, or I could add it to play some drums. So there's really loads I can do with this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the new Blackstar mini controller. Uh, thank you Blackstar for sending one over for me to test. Definitely something that's going to be a strong feature on my music setup from now on. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.